What's going on you guys? So today I'm going to be going over why is it important to shoot in the proper frame rate. But first, roll the intro. First of all, I'll take this work shirt off. Now, I wanted to talk about why is it important to shoot in the proper frame rate? What is frame rate? Frame rates, I don't even know what the hell it is. But let me just put it to you this way. Your camera shoots in specific frame rates. Generally, your camera will come with the option to shoot 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, or 120 frames per second, some 96, uh, whatever. But the common ones are 24, 30, and did I say 24, 30, and 60. So <clears throat> I have the Sony A6500. It does 24, 30, 60, and 120. Now, some cameras only allow you to do 24 by 4k resolution um, that's a whole nother topic conversation but let's just put it this way the Sony camera is the only camera on the market right now besides the Canon 1DX which is about three grand for the body only not even talking about the lens the Sony is the only camera on the market right now that does 4k but it only does 4k by 24 frames per second and it does 1080 by 1080, 24, 30, 60, and 120 frames per second. Now you're probably watching this and you're like, oh, all these numbers, I don't know what the fuck that means, but I'm gonna get into what these numbers mean and what they can do to your footage and why it is important to use these numbers properly. Now, I got <clears throat> this little car here that my son got for Christmas. I'm gonna use that as a test subject. I got my cheap little spotlight set up. Another thing I wanted to say, quick tip, that if you're ever shooting, for an example, like on this little cheap spotlight that I'm using, and the light is too harsh, diffuse the light by doing this. Put a napkin over it, soften the light up. It works as a diffuser, it's cheap, but whatever. So anyway, like I said, I got the little subject here. Uh, I'm gonna be using this car. It's one of those old school little cars, you pull it back and let it go and it just drives. So I wanted to show you that because it moves. Use that as a subject actually, because it moves. Now, let's talk about why is it important to shoot at the proper frame rates, starting with 24 frames per second. That could be 24 frames by 1080, by 720, by 4K, whatever you want. 24 frames per second is generally the frame rate you want to use when you're doing anything at a regular motion. Like right now, me, I'm talk, I'm sitting here talking to you guys, and I'm shooting this video at 24 frames per second at 4K, because I'm doing nothing but sitting here, and I'm not gonna slow any of this down, as far as me talking. Now, also like in movies, films, you know, uh, they shoot a lot of their footage 24 frames per second. It's the most cinematic look you're gonna get in a regular motion. Moving to 30, 60, and 120. Normally, when you're gonna slow footage down, I always just, I have the option on my camera to do so, but I use 120. A lot of cameras go up to 60, unless you have the Sony or the 1DX. And the reason I mentioned those two cameras, by the way, is because those are the most like there's cameras that do higher frame rates, but they're more expensive. And I'm talking DSLR cameras. Now, when you're gonna slow footage down, like I said, you either wanna shoot in 60 frames per second if you have the option 120. I like 120, it's a smoother, slower, slow motion. I'm gonna show you some examples of what it looks like if you shoot in the wrong frame rate. Um, and if, give me a second. So I'm gonna shoot the car moving in 24 frames per second and then 
shoot it again moving in 120 frames per second. Then I'm gonna slow down the footage that I shot in 24 frames per second and then slow down the footage that I shot the car in 120 frames per second. And I'm gonna show you why you have to choose certain frame rates to do certain things because you're just gonna fuck it up. I see a lot of people make this mistake. Like I've seen a lot of people like shoot an entire music video in 60 because they know that you can slow down footage in 60 frames but then they don't um, set up their timeline at 24 frames per second which is a whole nother topic and a whole nother video but basically you have to shoot in the right frame rates especially when you're in post it's gonna make your footage look better your your overall outcome of your videos better if you're out of regular motion let's just say uh, I will use a music video as an example let's just say right now I was a music video I, or I was in a music video right now and I'm performing boom boom and I'm just like moving around if you know you're not gonna slow any of that footage down you just leave it recording at 24 take two you do another take but you know you want to slow that footage down so you have the artist perform again but you record it at 60 or 120 frames per second because now you could slow all that footage down and you mix them up in post um i feel like i'm confusing myself right now i don't even know what i'm saying let's just jump right into it shall we so right here i'm going to move the car and i'm shooting this at 24 frames per second that was shot at 24 frames a second now this is what it looks like if you slow down 24 frames per second. Looks like shit. Now this is shot at 120 raw without being slowed down. Now notice how like also raw 120 and 60 frames footage it looks kind of like camcorder footage like it's too the motion is too fast. So that's why, that's another reason why you shouldn't like shoot regular motion things in 60 or 120. Now I'm gonna slow it down and look what it looks like when you slow it down. It's smooth, it isn't choppy, it's just buttery smooth. Now what frames per second means is, basically the best way I could explain this to you is like, you remember those old, um, the old like books, people would, like draw cartoons and then you like flip the pages and then as you're flipping the pages, the cartoon moves. So it's basically what the camera's doing. It's taking 24 pictures every second. So if you had 24 pictures and you go, it's gonna move at a regular motion, but the pages are gonna stop quick. If you had 120 of the same drawings, but you got, let's say you take the same motion of that same drawing that was shot at 24 frames, but now you gotta draw it in 120 pages instead of 24 pages. So the camera shot more frames in a second. So since it shot so many more frames, when you slow it down, it's gonna give you that ability to be smooth, slow motion, cause it shot more frames per second versus 24. And that's why you don't want to slow down 24 frames per second. There's not enough frames that are shot to slow that footage down. So basically that's why you have to choose your proper frame rates when you're shooting. So plan out your shots, know what you're going to shoot. If you know you're going to slow something down, switch it. My camera, I have everything preset from the, to the number one knob. It's on 24. I turn the knob to 20. Uh, I turn the knob to 2 and it's on 120. So like set up your camera so you don't have to go through the menu all the time. You could make presets depending on the camera you have. But just make sure that you shoot your videos in proper frame rates. And it'll make your life easier in post and also the outcome of your videos will be a lot better to be honest. It's gonna look a lot cleaner. It's gonna look like you know what you're doing and it'll it just, the outcome is great, it'll look good.
I'm just gonna leave it right there. I just wanted to share that information with you guys for now. Uh, hit a thumbs up if you liked this video and it was informational to you. Go ahead and give it a thumbs down. If you didn't like it, it's cool with me. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys on Sunday. Peace out.